Live and direct from the Wigwam in Wayne City, Illinois, it's exciting Edwards County Lions basketball action. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dave Rigg alongside Brother Troy Rigg. We're getting ready to bring you the game tonight between the Edwards County Lions and the Potoka Warriors. This will be game number two for tonight. Earlier this evening, Weber Township had no trouble knocking off Clay City by a score of 69 to 31. And uh, now it's Potoka and Edwards County. Later on this evening, Red Hill will battle with Wayne City. Our webcast, as usual, coming your way through the courtesy of our Edwards County webcast boosters. And right now, Troy's going to mention just a few of those kind folks who help us cover our expenses. Kenton Sue Nail of Nail's Funeral Home in Albin and Fairfield. Gospel Chapel, a non-denominational church in Bone Gap. Services begin every Sunday morning at 10. Janice Shaw of Janice's Beauty Shop in Albion. She offers their complete line of beauty shop services for women. She also cuts hair for men. Call Janice for an appointment at 445-2436. Radio station WVYN 90.9 in Wayne City, The Vine, featuring the best Christian music in Southern Illinois. A listener-supported Christian radio station. Seely Max and Clive Gerlach. Gene Kolak, owner of the Man Cave Gallery in Fairfield, Western memorabilia, motivational posters, pictures, and Native American art. Gene carries many custom handmade and factory knives. Do you need your carpets clean? Call Dan Aaron of Dan's Carpet Cleaning, 618-302-0972. Dan, Shirley, Michael, and Travis are cheering on the Lions. Cheryl Taylor of TJ Marsh, supporting the Edwards County Lions for over 30 years. Rick Kelly Allison and Drew Wolf. Dwayne and Leanne Lear of Leary Electric and Albin. For electrical service you can depend on, call Dwayne Lear at 446-3166. Steve Thompson, your country financial agent at 107 East North Street in West Salem. A financial representative providing insurance, auto home and more, and financial services. Sam and Sheila Smith and Eddie and Joyce Miller. Just a few of our webcast boosters. Troy will be mentioning more of them as the evening goes on. If you missed the scores from last night's action here at the Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament in Wayne City, in the first game, Crab Orchard had no trouble with Ziegler Royalton, 81 to 57. And then Troy, a disappointing loss for the Lions as they lose to Sisney, 55 to 50. And in the last game last night, Wayne City defeated Grayville, 61 to 42. In high school girls basketball last night, uh, Edwards County lost to Lawrenceville, 56 to 38. Lawrenceville also took the uh, JV game over the Lady Lions, 28-20. And the Lady Lions are in action again tonight at home. They're in Albion against Mount Carmel. But Troy, getting back to last night's game, it's a disappointing loss because the Lions had an eight-point lead uh, in the third quarter. And then uh, the Lions started having some turnover problems. And uh, Sisney came back. And in the uh, fourth quarter, Edwards County missed some very important free throws, which could have... Uh, kept them from getting behind Sisney, but uh, th that didn't uh, happen. And uh, I tell you what, I got to give a lot of credit to Adam Ellis, the head coach of the Sisney uh, Lions, because he set up a defense for the uh, running Lions of Sisney to almost negate our main scorer, Nathaniel Schmittler, in the paint. Nathaniel scored, let me think, I think it was only five points. Uh, yeah, only five points in the second half last night. And that's uncharacteristic for Nathaniel Schmittler. And I don't think we can blame him. I think you can credit the defense that Sisney put up. And Jared Taylor, the point guard for Sisney, he was just all over the floor. And then Jaden Hatcher uh, hit some very important free throws down the stretch. And Sisney knocks off Edwards County 55-50. to So that means, Troy, that Sisney right now is in the driver's seat to appear in the championship game Saturday night. They are 2-0 and in pool play. Patoka is 1-0. and Edwards County is 1-1. and Weber is 1-1. and And Clay City is 0-2. So this is an important game here tonight for Edwards County. They've got to beat Patoka. And hope then that uh, Thursday night uh, Weber will knock off Sisney. Uh, to give Edwards County a chance to be in the championship game Saturday. But those are the things that have got to happen. Right. And that should be a very good basketball game on Thursday night, Dave, because Weber has looked impressive so far in this tournament. Uh, they did uh, lose 
uh, the other day, but it was a close ball game. And uh, so far in this tournament, Dave, uh, as you've mentioned before, Coach Ellis has really got Sisney uh, clicking on all cylinders. Yes, he has. Um, Patoka comes into this game with a record of five wins and only one loss. They defeated Odin 63-47, knocked off Clay City 68-33, defeated South Central in a close one 48-46. Uh, then they defeated Mulberry Grove 66-55 and uh, lost to Sisney 46-40, uh, and then Patoka beat Clay City the other night 81-35. So they are 5-1. and one. Um, Tomorrow night, there will only be two games played here at Wayne City. Grayville will tangler, tangle with Ziegler Royalton, and Clay City will meet Sisney. We will not be here because we cover only the Edwards County Lions. Thursday night, three games, uh, Crab Orchard against Grayville, Sisney against Weber, and Ziegler Royalton against Wayne City. Again, the Lions are not playing, so we get two nights off to win for a change. Yeah. But the Lions will return to action Friday night in a game they really should win. Yes, they should. Dave. They will be playing Clay City, and I don't, I don't want to sound mean, but Clay City has really had their troubles this year. They just yeah. don't have a lot of talent on that uh, team, and uh, they've been blown out in every game uh, that I'm aware of so far. The other games Friday night will have Red Hill against Crab Orchard and Patoka against Weber. So Edwards County needs to win this game in a big way and then, of course, win Friday night uh, to be uh, giving a, given a chance to be playing for the championship or at least third place. Now, Edwards County has never won this tournament, Troy. Uh, we've been playing here for several years now, I think since back in 1999 uh, when the Lions finished fifth here. In 2000, they finished third. 2002, they were third. 2008, they were fifth. 2009 they were third, 2010 fourth, 2011 finished third. Now back in 2012 they finished second, losing in the championship game. And uh, then uh, in uh, 2013 they were fourth. Last year they finished third in this tournament. So the Lions have never won it. And for them to get a chance to win this one, Sisney has got to lose and Edwards County has got to win this game and then win Friday night and hope that point differential will still give Edwards County an advantage over Sisney, but it doesn't look good right now. Well, no, because uh, one of those games you mentioned on Wednesday night, Dave, I would be shocked if Sisney loses to Clay City. <laughs> well, wait a minute. Is that who is they're playing Wednesday night? Let's see. Yeah, Wednesday night they're playing. Yeah, they'll beat Clay City, no doubt about that. Yeah. But their challenge will be Thursday night when they tangle with Weber. Right, right, with Weber. Right. So we got to root for Weber Thursday <laughs> night. Go Weber. <laughs> Edwards County comes into this game with a record of eight wins and three losses. They three losses, the first game of the season down at the Grayville Turkey Tournament to NCOE, 67-64, a game they really should have won, yeah. but uh, had their trouble with turnovers that night. Right. And then they lost up at Flora. Uh, in regular season play, 72 to 56, and then lost here last night to Sisney, uh, 55 to 50. The Edwards County Lions are averaging 65.5 uh, points per game, and they are averaging giving up 60 points per game. So they're about five and a half points ahead of their opponents so far in scoring this season. Who's our leading scorer? Well, that's pretty easy, Nathaniel Schmittler. Uh, according to my figures, which are unofficial, by the way, uh, he has scored 238 points so far this season, and he's averaging 21.6 points per game. Uh, Ma Maverick Troyer is our next high scorer with 110 points this season. He's averaging 10 points a ball game. Uh, then it's uh, Eli Mawson. He has scored 88 points this season, averaging an even eight points uh, per game. And uh, Cage Snicker has uh, scored 80 points this season. He's averaging 7.3. Uh, Roy Johnson has scored 74 points this season. He's averaging 6.7 points per game. Bobby Brake has scored 62 points this season. He's averaging 5.6 points per game. And Justin Wallace has scored 50 points this season, 4.5 points per game. The rest of the players coming off the bench here and there have got a basket or two, but nothing really uh, to, uh, to talk about. We'll talk more about this Potoka team that we'll be facing here tonight after Troy checks more of our webcast boosters. 
The watering can at 107 West Main Street. Stop in and see the flowers and gift items that Nathan has available for Christmas. Call 445-3924. Shad, Marilee, Lindsay, and Seth McKenzie. David and Lisa Mathis. Bob and Mona Nice, Emma Campbell-Smith. Burton and Donna Hawking. Jason Holfaker. Mike and Kristen Spear of Spear Construction Company. Brian and Sonia Schenkel. Kevin, Heidi, and TJ Smurden. Kevin and Kendra Schnicker and Linda Kelsey, Doug Raber, your State Farm Insurance Agent in Albion, Jeff Gillard of Gillard True Value Hardware Stores in Albion, Grayville, and Carmi, David and Kim Cullison, Kelly Bosecker Fryman, and Gene and Jackie Copeland. The Potoka Warriors, Troy, the interesting thing is uh, the Potoka High School has a student enrollment of 69. That's for all four classes, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. So they are at 69 students. Patoka, Illinois, if you're wondering, is in Marion County. Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly, up in the northwest quarter of Marion County. Uh, so with only 69 students, they don't have a lot of uh, boys to pick from for their team, but they, they have had some pretty good basketball teams. In fact, they won this tournament last right, year. Right. Uh, they've, uh, let's see, I've got it here somewhere. Here it is. They won the tournament last year. They finished fourth in 2009 and finished second in this tournament back in 2007. Their leading scorer is Jared Kane. He's a 6'4 junior. And he's already scored over 1,000 points in his career at Potoka High School and is coming close to 2,000 points for the season. So uh, he's the guy that the Edwards County Lions are going to have to watch very carefully here tonight. Well, we're just about ready now for the introduction of the uh, – starting lineups. Looks like uh, Edwards County will be wearing their home white uniforms with red and black trim. And Patoka will be wearing their traveling jerseys, which is green. And so now we're going to get the uh, starters introduced. Patoka coached by Joe Eddy. His assistants are Tyson Murray and Scott Kane. By the way, we welcome anybody from the Potoka High School area that might be watching our webcast tonight. One of the starters is number three, Shane Kane. He's a 5'9 senior. Another starter is number 13, Bailey O'Brien. He is a 6'1 junior. And there's the big boy for them as far as scoring is concerned, Jared, Jared Kane, 6'4 junior. And also in the starting lineup for them, will be number 12, Garrett Belcher. He's a 6'5 junior. And I didn't catch the last one. Who, who was it, Troy? Did you catch his name? I think he's still got his jersey on. Yeah, they've got, they're all Whatever around him there. His warm-up, I mean. Yeah, well, we'll catch him later on. Uh, I see him now. If he'll just turn around. Is it number 32, Dylan Back? That's who I'm going to guess, Dylan Back. He is uh, mentioned. He's a six-foot senior. So it's Kane, Belcher, O'Brien, Kane, and Back. Two Kane boys. I wonder if they're brothers. I would think so. One's a senior and one's a junior. It's a possibility. Sure. All right, now we're going to get the starting lineup for Edwards County. Uh, Patoka doesn't have cheerleaders. They're yeah, they right do, there. right down here. Well, <laughs> were they out there on the floor? Oh, I know it was Weber that didn't have cheerleaders. I uh, know they had them, too. All right. <laughs> Forget it. Cage Snicker, he's a 6'1 freshman in the starting lineup. Bobby Brake, he's a 6'1 junior. Eli Mawson, 6'0 senior, will be operating at one of the forward slots. The other forward is Maverick Troyer, a 6'5 senior. And rounding out the starting five will be Martin Nathaniel Schmittler, a 6'5 junior. So it's Schmittler, Troyer, Mawson, Brake, and Schnicker for head coach Russ Gerlach and his assistants Kevin Schnicker and Todd Shaw. Edwards County Lions at 8-3 and three, and the Potoka Warriors at 5-1. and one. You ready to go, Troy? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I would imagine that's probably true. <laughs> All right, here we go. Edwards County cheerleaders out there finishing their last cheer before the tip-off. Uh, McLean from Mount Carmel. I rec recognize him as one of the officials. The other two, I don't recognize. 
All right, the Lions are out on the floor. And so are the Patoka Warriors. Did I guess right? Yeah, 32 is the other uh, starter. Dylan Back, six foot senior. All right, it'll be uh, Troyer jumping this time for Edwards County at midcourt. He's jumping against uh, Garrett Belcher, 6'5 against 6'5. All right, Bill McLean steps in with the ball. The tip is controlled by Patoka. Quickly coming down the left side is Belcher. Now at top of the key to Kane to the right corner. Now the ball knocked away as they tried to get it into Kane, but they get it back. Now it goes into the left corner off there to Belcher. Back outside to Kane. Kane in the backcourt again to Belcher. Left corner. Pass in the baseline and a driving shot is up and in by their big scorer, Jared Kane. So Patoka takes a 2-0 lead. Break with a basketball for Edwards County. Loops it over the cross court to Schnicker. Back to break. Bobby thought about shooting the three, but he's not been shooting the threes very well this season so far, so he backs off. It goes to Schmittler. Now back to break. And to Schmittler in the lane. He feeds it off underneath, and a ball taken away. There's another one of those turnovers, Troy. All right, this is Jared Kane with a basketball, guarded by Mawson. Eli's got the job of guarding their big scorer tonight. Let's see if Eli can handle him. Kane goes in the paint, hands it off underneath. The shot's up and in by Garrett Belcher. And Toka takes a 4-0 lead. Just getting started here. Break with a basketball, sends it over to Schnicker. Now it goes left corner to Mawson. Eli loops it into the paint to break. At the free throw line, he shoots it up. No good, off the rim. Rebound comes off to Patoka. Jared Kane dribbling down the paint. He goes and a whistle. That's going to be a traveling call. So there's a turnover for Patoka, and the ball will go over to Edwards County. Mawson will trigger it in right here in front of our webcast location. And to Bobby Break, and the Lions now go on offense. Lions looking still for their first score of the night. Schnicker back to Break. Now in the right corner to Troyer. Maverick looking back to Break. Bobby in the backcourt, crosscourt to Schnicker. Cade's been shooting some good threes lately. Now to break on the right side of the key. And there's a bad pass goes sailing out of bounds. I don't know where that pass was going, Troy. Uh, <laughs> I don't want anybody uh, over there. I don't either. 4 nothing. Patoka with the lead. This is Shane Kane on the dribble. Now he hands the ball off to Jared Kane. Jared dribbling the ball, comes left of the key. Now hands it off to the top, back to Kane with a layup that's good. Boy, that was a good give and go play. Patoka six, Edwards County nothing. Break to Schnicker in the corner to Mawson. Inside to Schmittler, now to Troyer down the lane. No good, rebound to Troyer again and he puts it up and in. Maverick Troyer was not to be denied. He worked and got the rebound and put it back in. 6-2, Patoka with the lead. Now the pass goes in the top of the key to Belcher. To the left side, dribbling with the ball there is O'Brien. Now back out to Shane Kane. He goes in, pops one up and in. Potoka eight, Edwards County two. Break with the basketball over to Schnicker. Schnicker in the corner now to Troyer. Back over to Break on the left side of the key. Now to the baseline to Schmittler. Back out to Break. Again to Schmittler. Down low it goes to Mawson, but he's covered up. And he gets the ball back. Schmittler fires the ball and scores. It was for two. He was inside the arc. Nathaniel gets his first basket of the night. It's eight to four. Batoka, there's Jared Kane again, and he pops one up inside the lane. He's got six points already. Batoka 10, Edwards County four. Break with a basketball. Back out now to Troyer. Now over to Schnicker. Lions have got to get that ball in the paint to Schmittler. Now it goes into Mawson. There it is. Schmittler lays it up and in. Good work. From break to Mawson to Schmittler for the basket. 10 to 6. 425 and counting first quarter. Jared Kane now guarded by Bobby Brake. Bobby has switched off of Mawson, and Bobby's going to have the job of trying to stop him. But a good give and go again, and a basket for Garrett Belcher. Troy, I'll tell you what, this Patoka team knows how to work out and get their shots. 12 to 6. Lions down by six, pass into Schmittler. Back out to Schnicker, who fires the three ball and missed everything. And uh, Troyer tries to save it in, but he did to Patoka. Quickly up the court, and there goes a dunk. 
a dunk by Garrett Belcher. And timeout call by Edwards County. The score is Patoka 14, Edwards County 6. Troy? Edwards County State's Attorney Mike Valentine, Edwards County Girls Volleyball Coach Nixie Nikowski, and her family, Steve, Katie, and Rachel. Edwards County Superintendent of Schools, David Calgary and his family, David, Tiffany, Dallin, Camden, and Addison. The House of Prayer on North 5th Street in Albion. Mac Dalton is the pastor. Tony and Gina Whistle, Dr. Chris Ballard and Jerry, Citizens National Bank in Albion, Randy Hallam of Mitchell Insurance Agency in Albion, Christian Radio Station WBJW-FM 91.7 on the FM dial in Albion, a listener-supported Christian Radio Station, Chris and Teresa Kelsey, Colton's parents, Brian Mavis, your Edward Jones investment agent in Albion, and Dave Patoka has really got the give and go working underneath the hoop. They here. have. They are. They're really working it around, and they're able to give it and go, and then uh, get the return pass and get the easy shot in the paint. Yeah. And Edwards County's got to find a way to stop that nonsense. The Lions will get the ball with 3:49 remaining here in the first quarter, trailing 14 to six. Mawson into break. Bobby brings the ball across the timeline, sends it over to Schnicker. Cade in the corner to Mawson. Mawson. In the paint to Troyer, he puts one up and it's blocked, and the ball is going to go out of bounds off Edwards County. Now here comes Roy Johnson into the lineup. He'll replace Troyer. So now we've got Brake, Johnson, Schnicker, Mawson, and Schmittler on the floor for Edwards County. Shane Kane over to the right side off to O'Brien. Back to Kane, their little point guard who stands only 5'9", sends it to the left side. Off there it goes to back. Back now holding the ball, gets it back to Kane, and a pass to the baseline to Belcher, but he can't shoot, guarded by Schnick or Schmittler. Now it goes to the baseline to Kane. Their big score now is being guarded by Bobby Brake, one of our better defensive players. Back out to Kane. Kane at the free throw line, feeds it underneath for an easy lay in for Garrett Belcher. Garrett Belcher got free, and now he's got eight points. 16 to 6, Lions down by 10. Mawson to break to the right side, Schnicker. Cade sends it to the baseline to Schmittler. Nathaniel back out to Schnicker. Break, now to Mawson, left corner. Back out now to Roy Johnson. Again to Mawson in the corner. Now to Schmittler, he spins, puts up a 10-footer that missed everything. Rebound to Bluford, or check that, to Patoka, and an easy driving layup by Shane Kane. Boy, Troy, they're working all over us. 18-6, yeah. 225 and counting, first quarter. Schnicker in the left corner. Comes back outside, over to the Mawson on the right side. Mawson back out to break. 215 and counting now. Schnicker to Johnson in the left corner. Back out to Schnicker, now to break. Bobby, bad pass, kicked off and stolen away. Up to Shane Kane, who lays it up and in. Boy, this is, this is bad, Troy. 20-6. Schnicker with a basketball, left side to Mawson. Now to Schnicker. Schnicker over to break. Bobby drives in, passes it over to Mawson, who drives in, lays it on the glass and scores. Good work there by Eli Mawson, his first basket of the night. And it's 20 to eight with a minute 35 to go. Kane drives in and a whistle. That's gonna be a foul against Nathaniel Schmittler. That'll be the first team foul against Edwards County. And Jared Kane, We'll go to the free throw line to shoot two free throws. Clock shows a minute 35 left in this opening quarter. Jared Kane puts the ball up and he's got it. 21 to eight. Wallace checks in for Edwards County and so does Claude Felder. Brake and Schmittler go to the bench for a breather. So now we've got uh, Johnson, Claude Felder, Mawson, Wallace and Schnicker on the floor. Second free throw is no good and the rebound to Mawson. Quickly up to Schnicker. Cade operating now as the point guard. Comes to the right side of the key. Back out to Mawson. Now to Claude Felder. Tiger. Pass in the corner. There, off there to Schnicker. And now in the paint to Wallace. And he loses the ball. And there's a scramble for it on the floor. And it's going to be a tie-up. And the possession arrow will give the ball to Edwards County. A minute 15 left now in the opening quarter. Patoka 21. Edwards County 8. Mawson to toss it in. He gets it in to Schnicker. Schnicker at the top of the key. 
Sends it over to Claudefelder. Tiger back to Schnicker. Schnicker, couple of dribbles in the corner to Mawson. Edwards County's trying to get somebody open in the low post. Now Schnicker for three, and he's good. Cade Schnicker hits a three ball. And now it's 21 to 11 with less than a minute to play in the opening quarter. Jared Kane now being guarded by Schnicker. Starts a drive towards the paint and stops. Now he starts again. Pops up a 10 footer, no good. Rebound to Wallace for Edwards County. To Schnicker. Schnicker across the timeline. Feeds it in the corner to Mawson. Mawson back out to Schnicker. Cade over here to Claudefelder. Tiger thought about shooting the three ball, but didn't. Now pass to the left corner. Schnicker does fire three ball. That's off the rim, no good. Rebound to Wallace, but he can't shoot. Back to Schnicker. Cade dribbling around in the backcourt over to Claudefelder. He fakes, goes baseline. Now loops the ball clear out to the backcourt to Wallace. To the left side it goes to Schnicker, and the Lions reset with 10 seconds. In the corner to Mawson, better get a shot off. Wallace feeds it down low, stolen away. Bad pass. Patoka coming up quickly. And there goes the horn. That's the end of the first quarter. The score is Patoka 21 and Edwards County 11. Troy? Ed and Mary Bailey, Jim and Jody Peach, former Albion grade school principal Marilyn Turner, Dr. Lawrence Spear, Holly and Sam, Spear Chiropractic Clinic on the west side of the courthouse square in Albion. Larry Schmittler Service, Oilfield Engine Repair in Grayville. Larry and Linda Schmittler, grandparents of volleyball player Malia Schmittler, football and basketball player Martin Schmittler, and baseball basketball player Nathaniel Schmittler. The Edwards County Sports Booster Club, be sure to join this club to support athletics at Edwards County High School. Stu Shadina, Zoe, Zimmy, and Zed Markman. Mike and Melanie Troyer, parents of Maverick Troyer, See Troyer Heating and Air Conditioning for your heating and air conditioning needs, your local Coleman dealer. George and Nancy Gerlach, Coach Gerlach's parents. Dana and Carrie Mawson, parents of Eli Mawson. And John and Pat Anderson watching in Florida and cheering for Bobby Brake and the rest of the Lions. And Dave, Edwards County is going to have to solve this really quick, fast break attack of the Potoka Warriors. You're right, Troy. We lose this game. We're in danger of not even being involved in Saturday's game. Well, it could be. All right. Potoka has the ball. That's Jared Kane on the dribble. He's their big scorer. He pops one up, and he hits it. My goodness. 23 to 11. And now the Lions throw another pass away as Cage Snicker threw it behind Roy Johnson out of bounds. Well, the old... Turnover bugaboos hit yeah, bit us yeah, again tonight, yeah. Troy. And you definitely can't do that against this team. Not this team, that's for sure. All right, this is Shane Kane handing it off to Jared. Back to Shane. Now it goes in the corner off there to Belcher, and Kane driving by triple team. Gets it back out to Belcher. Back to Jared Kane. He turns around, pops one. Look at that. Swish. This guy, no wonder he's coming close yeah, to 2,000 yeah, points yeah, on the season. Exactly. 25 to 11. Claude Felder with the ball for Edwards County. Down low to Johnson. Roy dribbles out of a double team. Sends it up to the backcourt to Schnicker. It goes in the corner to Mawson, and a pass is stolen away again. Now a quick pass up the court, and the shot is missed, and the rebound comes off to Cade Schnicker for Edwards County. Schnicker in the corner to Mawson. He works the baseline, lays it on the glass, and scores. Good work there by Eli Mawson. 25-13. Now there goes Kane down the lane again, and bang, he gets another one. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. He's got 13 points already, Troy. 27 to 13. Pass to Wallace. He turns, feeds it over to Claude Feller. He pops up a 20-footer, no good. Rebound comes off to, guess who, Patoka. Pass across the court. is going to slide out of bounds off the hands of Dylan Back. Break, Troyer, and Schmittler check back in. Schnicker, Claude Felder, and Mawson go to the bench for a breather. And let's see here. And now we're going to get a timeout called by Edwards County with 6.33 to go in the second quarter. It's Patoka 27, Edwards County 13. Troy? Eric Rigg and his staff at Rigg Family Care Pharmacy in Albion, Kenny and Betty Smith, Myrna Mason, Eddie and Lila Fuchs, Scott and Sheila Wallace, parents of Justin Wallace. Sheila is the vice president at the Fairfield Banking Company in Fairfield. The Murbarger family, Lonnie, Valerie, Sadie, and Hallie, George and Shirley Tribe. And so far, Dave, if it's not Kane hitting the outside shots, it's Fletcher getting it done underneath for Patoka. 
Right you are. I'll tell you. It's hard for me to believe they've lost a game this year. Yeah. 27 to 13, 625 and counting second period. Break on the dribble. Over to Wallace. Now in the corner to Troyer. To Schmittler. Back out to Wallace. And again now to Maverick Troyer. Now over to Break. Bobby cross court over to Troyer. Maverick pops one up. Top of the key and scores. He was inside the arc. So that's good for two. Maverick now has four points on the night. And it's 27 to 15. Should be. Should, yeah, 27-15. Padoka with the ball. Pass to the left baseline. That's uh, O'Brien, and the ball scoots out of bounds off the hands of Weber. Or Weber. You're fixated Patoka. on Weber. <laughs> yeah, I'm fixated on Weber. All right, Edwards County, and guess what? Patoka's going to put a press on. Pass comes in to break. Bobby now loops the ball up to Wallace. He sends it over to Troyer, and we break the press easily. Cross over to Bobby. Bobby now dribbles inside, puts a shot on the glass that misses. He puts it back up again on the rebound. No good, and the rebound comes off to Patoka. Back quickly up to Kane. He goes in and lays it up and in. This guy's unreal, folks. It's been a long time since I've seen a basketball player like him. 29-15. Patoka with a lead. Pass comes in to Schmittler. He puts one up, and that rims out no good. Rebound to Wallace, but it's taken away from him. And apparently he was hacked on the wrist, and I think it's going to be on Kane. I believe that was on 21, Jared Kane. That's our first personal, Troy. Ball will belong to Edwards County, out of bounds on the baseline, left of the basket. Roy Johnson will trigger it. Roy looking, 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 and the ball slapped right back out of his hands, out of bounds. Off the hands, actually, of Garrett Belcher, so we'll try it again. 5.19 on the clock now, second period. Roy slaps the ball one time. Loops the ball into break. Bobby on the left side, sends it outside. Now Wallace for three. That's off the rim, no good. Rebound to Kane for Batoka. And the ball is knocked out of his hands from behind, but not cleanly. I think that's going to be a foul on Roy Johnson. Yep, it's on Roy. Team foul number two against Edwards County. 5.08 now on the clock. Batoka 29, Edwards County 15. Shane Kane hands it off to Jared Kane. Bobby Brake shadowing him here, trying to stop their big score. He's got a big chore now. They started out with Eli Mawson guarding Jared Kane, but now Bobby is guarding him. Bobby's trying to shadow Kane as he hands the ball off to Shane Kane, their little point guard. There's a three-point shot. That's off the rim. That was missed there by back. And a foul. No, the ball was tipped out of bounds. Or was there a foul? No, I think there's going to be a foul. There is a foul. And, and it's, it's on, on Bobby. Bobby. Bobby gets the foul. That's his first. Team foul number three. Now Mawson back in, replacing Johnson. So we've got Wallace, Brake, Mawson, Schmittler, and Troyer on the floor now. Pass to the backcourt to Kane. It goes in the corner, off there to back. Back sends it to the baseline, and it goes out of bounds off one of the Edwards County players. 4.37 now on the clock, second period. Dylan back, the six-foot senior, will toss it in. He sends it up to the backcourt, off there to Belcher. Belcher back to back, <laughs> back to back. <laughs> back sends it over here to the right side to O'Brien. O'Brien dribbles to the top of the key, comes down the left side, cut off, sends it outside to Shane Kane, who dribbles to the free throw. All oh, nice feet inside for an easy shot there for Jordan Cobb. So Cobb gets that basket, and now it's 31 to 15. Break with the basketball now. Looking, sends it in the corner to Troyer. Back out to break. Bobby fires a three ball. That's off the rim, no good. And the rebound comes off to Patoka. Not only are we having turnover problems, we're not doing a very good job on the offensive boards. And there's a driving attempt. The ball knocked loose and picked up by break. Bobby with the steal. Now a foul from behind, and I think that's going to be on Shane Kane. Yep. It is. Shane Kane picks up the foul. That's only team foul number two against Weber. Or there I go again. Batoka. <laughs> All right, Schnicker checks back in. Wallace goes to the bench. So now we've got Schnicker. And in fact, we've got the original starters back on the floor. Schnicker, Troyer, Schmittler, Brake, and Mawson. 340 and counting. Pass to Schnicker in the corner to Troyer. And a pass into Mawson. He puts it up. No good. Rebound to break. Feeds it out to Schmittler. He pops one up and in. 
Nathaniel Schmittler gets his third bucket. He has six points on the night. It's 31 to 17. And now Bobby knocks the ball out of the hands of Jared Kane. And a good play by break on defense that time. It was off of Web off of Kane. And so Edwards County will get the ball out of bounds. Break to Schnicker, to Mawson, into Schmittler in the paint, puts it up, no good. Loose ball picked up by Patoka. Kane out on the dribble. <coughs> There's gonna be fouled by Troyer as Maverick bumped into him to keep him from getting a layup. That'll be first on Maverick, team foul number four against the Lions. And now substitute checking in, Garrett Belcher back into the lineup for Patoka replacing Bailey O'Brien. And here's Jared Kane at the free throw line again. 31 to 17 with 3.15 to go here in the second period. Free throw is good. He'll try another one. 32 to 17. Well, Troy, I didn't expect this. Second free throw is no good. Rebound to Troyer, up to break. Bobby down the right sideline. Now goes into the paint, puts it on the glass, no good, and the ball comes off to Patoka. Up to Shane Kane, now to Jared Kane. He pops one up, that's no good. The ball tipped out of bounds, off the hands of Patoka, and the Patoka fans put up a howl about that call. And Mawson will trigger it in here in front of our webcast location into Bobby Brake. Less than three minutes to play here in the first half. Brake feeds it off now to Schmittler. Cross court pass to Mawson. Back out to Schnicker who fires the three ball that's off the rim no good. And a foul by Troyer as he tried to slap the ball away from Jared Kane. And for Maverick that'll be his second. And now Roy Johnson checks in and Maverick goes to the bench. So now we've got Johnson, Schmittler, Schnicker, Mawson, and Brake on the floor for Edwards County. Jared Kane brings the ball up. Leads it over to Shane Kane. Now it comes out to the top of the key. Off third goes to back. Now it goes to the corner. That's Belcher. Belcher back out to Jared Kane. Bobby trying to knock it away. In fact, he does knock it away, but Kane will go back, and it will be off of Bobby. So Patoka will retain possession. Bobby's doing his best to shut their big scorer off, but he's got a big job in that, Troy. That's a very big job. I wouldn't want that job. No. Kane brings the ball up. Bobby meets him at the timeline. Kane now fends it over to Shane Kane. Shane over here now to back, Dylan back. Now feeds the ball off to Belcher, to Shane Kane in the right corner, back out to Belcher. Belcher dribbling against Schmittler, feeds it back out to Kane. Shane, that is. He drives in the paint, puts it up and in. Their little guy drove in the paint and scored against us. 34 to 17, less than two minutes to go. Schmittler, and a bad pass is stolen away. Boy, we're making all kinds of bad passes, Troy. Belcher feeds it over to Kane. Jared holds up the right arm with the play for the Warriors. Now it goes to the left side, off there to Dylan back. Back, dribbling, goes to the free throw line, feeds it underneath, open shot for Jordan Kane. He was wide open. That's twice he's done that against us. 36 to 17. Break to Schnicker, in the corner to Mawson, into Schmittler, on the baseline, back outside. Boy, they're doing a good job of bottling up Nathaniel Schmittler. And now a bad pass again, stolen away by Patoka. It looks like Justin Wallace getting ready to check back in. A minute and five seconds to go. Patoka may play around here and just take the last shot coming up on a minute to play. Shane Kane just holding the ball in the backcourt. Now sends it across the backcourt to Jared Kane. Jared with the ball above his head, loops it up to the post. There it goes to back. Back turns around. Nobody's open this time. Out to Shane Kane. Now to Jared Kane. To the free throw. Oh, what a pass underneath. And... Cobb lays it in. Troy, this is ridiculous. Boy, they know how to get guys open, and we're letting them happen. Johnson with the ball for Edwards County out to break. Bobby back to Johnson. Roy can't shoot. Sends it off to Schmittler, but he's bottled up, and he can't shoot. Back to break. Now to Schnicker. Schnicker pops a three ball. 
That's off the rim, no good. Rebound to Schmittler. He goes in the paint, slops it up, and it went in. I don't know how he got it up there, Troy, but he did. 38 to 19 with eight. Uh, Bobby now makes a steal for Edwards County. Bobby dribbles up, pops one up. That just missed everything. Man, oh, man. 1.2 seconds to go. Wallace is going to check in now. Well, maybe. They may decide just to let it go with 1.2 seconds. Nope, they're going to send him in. And Schmittler's going to take this bench. 38 to 19. The ball will belong to Edwards County. Mawson will trigger it. Going to have to take a quick pass and shot. And Schnicker gets the shot away, and it rims out. So we're at halftime, and the score is Patoka 38, Edwards County 19. Troy? Kenton soon nail of Nails, funeral home in Albion and Fairfield. Gospel Chapel, a non-denominational church in Bone Gap. Services begin every Sunday morning at 10. Janice Shaw of Janice's Beauty Shop in Albion. She offers the complete line of beauty shop services for women. She also cuts hair for men. Call Janice for an appointment, 445-2436. Radio station WVYN 90.9 in Wayne City, The Vine, featuring the best Christian music in southern Illinois. A listener-supported Christian radio station. Celie Max and Clive Gerlach. Gene Kolak, owner of the Man Cave Gallery in Fairfield. Western memorabilia, motivational posters, pictures, and Native American art. Gene carries many custom, handmade, and factory knives. Do you need your carpets cleaned? Call Dan Aaron of Dan's Carpet Cleaning. 618-302-0972. Dan, Shirley, Michael, and Travis are cheering on the Lions. Cheryl Taylor of TJ Marsh. Supporting the Edwards County Lions for over 30 years. Rick, Kelly, Allison, and Drew Wolf. Dwayne and Leanne Lear of Larry Electric and Albin. For electrical service you can depend on, call Dwayne Lear at 446-3166. Steve Thompson, your country financial agent at 107 East North Street in West Salem. A financial representative providing insurance, auto home and more, and financial services. Sam and Sheila Smith and Eddie and Joyce Miller. And again, those are just a few of our webcast boosters bringing you tonight's action from the Wigwam in Wayne City, the site of the annual Conrad Allen Holiday Tournament. Good crowd on hand right now. Uh, Patoka has uh, several fans seated over here to our left. And uh, where's the Edwards County section here tonight, uh, Troy? Down there on the far end, Dave, to the right. Oh, yeah, down there. Okay, uh, down there at the left. Okay, yeah, I see them down there now. We No, that way. I'm looking for red shirt Edwards County fans. Well, oh, I, I see, see some. I see now. the Troyer family and Cullisons. And okay, okay. Oh, I see them now. And several people from Edwards County have made the trip over here. <laughs> Excuse me. And we're glad for you folks who could not be here that you were able to uh, log on on your uh, computer, your laptop, your cell phone, whatever it is. Uh, you know, Troy, I found even I've got one of these Kindle Fires, and it's capable of yeah. uh, picking up our webcast here yep. on Edwards County Sportsnet. Our next webcast will come Friday night, and the uh, Lions will uh, find their opposition in the Clay City Wolves. Well, I tell you what, Troy, if we lose that game. <laughs> uh, I don't think we will, Dave. I don't think uh, so either, and I don't mean to be mean to Clay City. Oh, but, absolutely not. But, they, uh, but uh, to be honest, I didn't expect what we've seen here in this first half tonight. I really felt like we had a good chance of beating this Patoka team, but they're running all over us. I mean, I don't. 38 to 19 is the score. Now, of course, I know the Lions could make a turnaround. Coach Gerlach could come up with some some good gimmicks down there in the locker room now to turn this game around. But the first thing we got to do is stop Jared Kane, and he's put Bobby Brake on him, and Bobby so far has been able to do that with only one foul. Um, Eli Mawson started out guarding him, and that wasn't working, so he switched to Brake, and. Uh, but this Kane boy, I tell you what, he's good. <laughs> well, I may be overstating it, Dave, but since you and I have started covering basketball together, I don't think I've seen a basketball player like this Kane boy since the days when the Atterbury boys were doing their thing. At oh, he, he, he's better than them. Uh, I think so, too. Uh, I, I, you know, I'd have to stop and think about it for a while, but it's, it's been a long time since I've seen a basketball player with talent like this boy yeah, has. Yeah. I mean, he... He, he's fast. He stands 6'4". Yeah. Uh, he can hit the shots from from outside. 
He's got 16 yeah. points here at halftime. And that give and go stuff, dumping the ball underneath yeah. to uh, Garrett Belcher. And Jordan Cobb. Yeah, and Jordan Cobb. Yeah, uh, they, and, and even their little guy, their, their point guard, Shane yeah, Kane, who stands only 5'9". He's been able to drive into the paint and score yeah, against yeah. us. So they've, they've got some plays that they're working on that, you know, our Edwards County defense collapses on a player who's got the ball, and the first thing you know, he's slipped the ball off to somebody driving in the paint, and they've got a basket. So Coach Gerlach's going to have to find some way. I don't know, maybe go to a zone defense. Yeah. Give up the uh, man-to-man, go to zone. I don't and, know, you know. We've got to come up with something to stop the scoring thrust that uh, Potoka has shown us here in this first half. And like on the other end of the court there, Dave, like uh, as far as taking better care of the basketball, yeah. do not be making these cross-court passes with all of those green trees underneath because uh, Belcher or whoever else, they're intercepting those yeah. things. Yeah, we've mm-hmm. made a lot of bad passes, you know, in this, in, again. There were yeah. bad passes uh, last night, yeah. especially in the fourth yeah. quarter, and we're doing it again tonight. Yeah. We've, we've had, you know, I I guess I ought to keep track of the turnovers, but I don't think I want to. It might get depressing. Right. But uh, turnovers has been a big problem tonight. We're not hitting the offensive glass like we're used to. Yeah. Uh, they've Nathaniel Schmidtler's our leading scorer, but he's only got eight points here at halftime. Yeah. Now, you know, Nathaniel usually turns things on in the second half, and we got to hope for that. we got to hope that Coach Gerlach down there in the locker room now is coming up with some plays where we'll get the ball to Nathaniel where he can just take the, the, the flip and, and put it on the glass and score because, uh, you know. Well, here's – we'll check the halftime stats here after you check some more of our webcast boosters. All right. The watering can at 107 West Main Street. Stop in and see the flowers and gift items Nathan has available for Christmas. Call 445-3924. Shad, Marilyn, Lindsay, and Seth McKenzie. David and Lisa Mathis, Bob and Mona Nice, Emma Campbell-Smith, Burton and Donna Hawking, Jason Holfaker, Mike and Kristen Spear of Spear Construction Company, Brian and Sonia Schenkel, Kevin, Heidi, and TJ Smurden, Kevin and Kendra Schnicker and Linda Kelsey, and Doug Raber, your State Farm Insurance Agent in Albion. Okay, halftime stats. First of all, for the Potoka Warriors, their leading scorer, as I said earlier, is Jared Kane with 16 points. Uh, then it's uh, eight points apiece for Shane Kane and Garrett Belcher, and six points from Jordan Cobb. And for Edwards County, our leading scorer at halftime is Nathaniel Schmittler with eight points. Uh, Eli Mawson and Maverick Troyer both have four points, and Cage Snicker has three points. Lions scored 11 points in the first quarter, but only eight points in the second quarter for a total of 19 here at halftime. I gotta look back and see if that's our lowest total. Well, we had 20, no, wait a minute, here we go. We had 24 last night at halftime, and Christian didn't write down the halftime uh, score. <laughs> now here, we had 30 points against Weber at halftime. No, that doesn't, that don't look right. I'm going to have to have a discussion with that Christian when he keeps a scorebook. Yeah. And let's see. Let's move over here. We had 33 points at halftime against Flora. We had 27 at halftime against Casey. Uh, 34 at halftime against Grayville. And 32 at halftime against Gallatin County. 27 at halftime against Sisney the first time we met him. 24 against Oblong. And 40 points at halftime against Grayville, first time we met him. And 27 points against NCOE in our first game of the season. So, Troy, this this is the uh, worst we have had as far as the first half so far this season. So let's hope the Lions can get things straightened out and play much better basketball here in the second half. They're back out on the floor, so apparently Coach Gerlach has done all he can to try to straighten things out here. And uh, the uh, Potoka Warriors in their, what would you call that? Is that Kelly Green or is that Forest Green? Well, yeah, yeah, that looks more like uh, Forest type green to me. Forest it Green, doesn't, okay. Doesn't really look like that Notre Dame green to me, or maybe my eyeballs are just going bad. Okay. <laughs> well, Alliance taking their pre-second half shoot around here now. Let's hope they find their 
scoring touch, Troy, because we've not been hitting them. We've been taking some shots, but just haven't been able. As Cage Snicker hit a three ball in the first quarter, and he hasn't hit anything since. And uh, Nathaniel Schmittler had four points in the first quarter and four points in the second quarter. And we've got to get some points out of him in the second half or yeah. we're going to go down to defeat. And as I said, you know, we lose this game and we're in danger of being shut out and not involved in any of the games Saturday. It all de will depend on if we lose this game. That's what I'm talking about now. If we Let's hope we don't. But if we lose it, it'll all depend on how well Weber does in their game Thursday against Sisney and their game Friday against Patoka. So we got to hope if we lose this game that we beat Clay City and uh, Weber loses two of those games. Hmm. All right, the horn has sounded. The teams have come to the sidelines, and we're about ready to start the second half. And again, our halftime score is Patoka 38, Edwards County 19. Lions next match will be Friday night here in Wayne City. And that game will be the uh, first game, 5.30. Right. 5.30. We'll be on the uh, Internet at about 5.15 Friday evening with you, that game. You say Weber has Patoka on Friday night? Right. Oh, Weber will have their hands full if Patoka oh, well, yeah. plays like this. Well, that's <laughs> for sure. All right, the starters for Edwards County are the same five that started the ball game, Mawson, Brake, Schnicker, Schmittler, and Troyer. And here we go. Edwards County will get the ball out of bounds. From Mawson, it goes to break. Bobby across the backcourt, sends it right side to Schnecker. Back to break. Now to the left side to Mawson. Mawson in the high post. Turn around by Schmittler is good. Nathaniel Schmittler gets a basket to open the second half. Well, that's encouraging. 38-21. Kane with the basketball in the high post. Feeds it off to Shane Kane. Back outside. There's a long one by back. That's no good. The ball tipped around. And the loose ball is saved by Mawson in the corner. Up to, no, oh, it's taken away by Kane. Now to Shane Kane. Shane, and the ball stolen away by Bobby Brake. A good steal by Brake. Bobby brings the ball up to the free throw line, feeds it over to Mawson. Mawson back to Brake, top of the key. Now to the right side to Schnicker. Schnicker on the baseline to Troyer. Back out to Brake, top of the key. Bobby pops a three ball and gets it. Big three ball by Bobby Brake. Bobby's been a little gun shy about shooting with the last few games, but he popped that one in, 38-24. That cuts into that lead a little bit. Pass to the right side to Shane Kane on the baseline. It goes to Belcher. Back outside now to back. Back over to the left side. Off there to O'Brien. O'Brien back to back. <laughs> back to O'Brien. O'Brien to the baseline to Kane. Jared Kane. No, oh, check that. That's uh, Belcher. Belcher to the top of the key to Kane. Kane now over to the left side. Patoka in no big hurry. They're working the ball around, killing clock, and looking for the good shot. Jared Kane. Cross-court looping pass over to Shane Kane. He fires a three ball. It rims out no good. Rebound to Schmittler for Edwards County. Schmittler gets the ball in the paint, puts it on the glass, no good, and the ball tipped out of bounds by Schmittler. So that will belong to Patoka. 6-10 to go, third period. Patoka 38, Edwards County 24. A difference of 14 points right now. Is that insurmountable? No, but it won't be easy. Pass over to the right side to Kane. Now to the other Kane. Now over to the left side. And another looping pass over there to Belcher. They pass it in the lane and stolen by Schnick or Schmittler to break. Bobby dribbles down. Bounce pass in the corner to Schnicker. Back out to break. He fires another three ball. That's off the rim. No good. And the rebound comes off to Patoka. They're out rebounding as Troy. Jared Kane dribbles to the baseline. Fall away jumper is no good. Rebound picked up by Schnicker. Cade comes out. Feeds it over to Mawson for the layup. Good work by Edwards County. And Eli gets the basket. And now Patoka wants a timeout. With 5.27 left to go in the third period, it's now Patoka 38, Edwards County 26. Lions beginning to make a comeback. Troy? Jeff Gillard of Gillard, Gillard True Value Hardware Stores in Albion, Grayville, and Carmine. David and Kim Collison, Kelly Bosecker Fryman, Gene and Jackie Copeland, Edwards County State's Attorney Mike Valentine, 
Edwards County girls volleyball coach, Nixie Nikowski and her family, Steve, Katie, and Rachel. Edwards County Superintendent of Schools, David Cowger and his family, David, Tiffany, Dallin, Camden, and Addison. The House of Prayer on North 5th Street in Albion, Mac Dalton is the pastor. Tony and Gina Whistle, Dr. Chris Ballard and Jerry, Citizens National Bank in Albion, Randy Hallam of Mitchell Insurance Agency in Albion, Christian Radio Station WBJW FM 91.7 on the FM dial in Albion, a listener-supported Christian Radio Station. All right, back to play we go. Patoka will have the ball out of bounds. It'll be tossed in by Dylan Back, their six-foot senior. Lions are going to pressure the ball now. Pass comes into Shane Kane. Over now to Back. Back to Kane, back to Back. Over to the left side as they break the timeline. Jared Kane gets the ball now at the high post. All wide open underneath, but they didn't shoot. Driving shot is missed, but a foul. And it's going to be on uh, Maverick Troyer, and that's three on Maverick. At the free throw line will be Garrett Belcher. He'll be shooting two free throws. 38-26, Edwards County down by 12. Free throw rims out, no good. Well, let's hope they start missing their free throws too. Coach Gerlach having a discussion here at the sideline with one of the officials. Second free throw is good. So it's 39-26, pass up to Troyer. Maverick across the line in the corner, Snicker for three. Off the rim, no good. Schmittler with a rebound, feeds it off to Troyer, who puts it on the glass and scores. Maverick Troyer, and he has six points now, 39-28. Well, we've cut the lead down to nine points now, Troy. Kane feeds it over to back, goes in the corner off there to old Belcher. Belcher back out to Jared Kane, guarded by break. It goes back in the corner to Belcher. Belcher cross-court pass over here to back. Now he feed it on the baseline to Belcher as they work it around looking for an open shot. In the backcourt, Dylan back over to Jared Kane. In the corner to Shane Kane. Shane and a whistle, he's called for traveling. Edwards County defense causing the Patoka Warriors to commit one of their few turnovers. So the Lions now could cut the deficit. It's 11 points now. Bobby dribbles down to the free throw line, feeds it off to Mawson. In the low post, turn around by Schmittler. It's good. Nathaniel Schmittler gets the basket. 39 to 28. It is a nine-point difference now. All right, Jared Kane to Shane Kane on the right side. Cross-court looping pass over here to Dylan Back. Back, it goes in the corner off to Belcher. Belcher out to Jared Kane, again to Belcher in the left corner. 3.50 and counting, third period. Pass in the corner off to Back. Back outside to Belcher. Belcher now feeds it to the baseline to Jared Kane. Jared works the baseline and a whistle, he stepped out of bounds. Again, good defense by Edwards County, causes another turnover. And now Roy Johnson's gonna check in, replacing Maverick Troyer. And Edwards County will bring the ball up with 3.38 to go in the third period, trailing now by only nine. 39-30. Well, don't give up, folks. Break with a basketball. Bobby sends it over now to Snicker to break. Left side to Schmittler. Back out to Johnson at the free throw line. Roy doesn't shoot. It goes to Bobby. Now to Cade. To the left side. Nathaniel drives down. Back out to Cade. He pops one up in the lane. Good. Cade Snicker gets the basket. 39-32. Down to seven point difference. And now Justin Wallace is getting ready to check in. Shane Kane with a basketball. Out to back. Lions are playing a zone. Troy, that is a... 2-1-2 zone, and a ball stolen away by Mawson to Schnicker, and there's a foul uh, yes. by Shane Kane as he tried to steal it away from Schnicker. For Kane, that'll be his second. The Lions gave up the man-to-man -man defense, Troy, where they were really getting burned right. and have gone to the zone, and it's working. And now we've got a timeout called by Patoka with 2.52 to go in the third period. It's Patoka 39, Edwards County 32. And if you know somebody who may have turned off this webcast because they thought the Lions were going to get blown out. Call them back and say, hey, get back on there. They made a mistake. Yeah. 
Chris and Teresa Kelsey, Colton's parents, Brian Mavis, your Edward Jones investment agent in Albion, Ed and Mary Bailey, Jim and Jody Peach, former Albion grade school principal Marilyn Turner, and Dr. Lawrence Spear, Holly and Sam, Spear Chiropractic Clinic on the west side of the Courthouse Square in Albion. All right, we're going back to play. Edwards County will have the ball out of bounds. It'll be tossed in by Mawson. That was only the third team foul against Potoka, so we're not shooting free throws. Pass comes into Schnicker. Schnicker in the backcourt. Over to Wallace. Wallace now feeds it to Mawson in the right corner. Back outside to Wallace. Now to the left side, Schnicker. Okay, dribbles out of there. Over to Wallace. Justin drives down, and there's a foul. And that's on Jared Kane, their big boy. That's his second personal. The ball will belong to Edwards County out of bounds. Mawson will trigger it in. He slaps the ball one time. Looks, looks, and loops it in to Schmittler. He goes into the paint, puts it up. No good, but a foul. That's what we got to do too, Troy, is drive in there and make them foul us. Get them in foul trouble. Who'd they charge that to, number 12? I think, I think so. it was on Belcher. It'll be his first. So Nathaniel Schmittler will be at the free throw line to shoot two. It's up. And he missed it. Mm. Well, we had trouble shooting free throws in the fourth quarter last night. Another free throw coming. It's up. And he gets that one. So it's 39-32. Seven-point difference with 2.25 to go in the third period. Dylan back. Feeds it over to Belcher. Back to back in the backcourt. Now it goes left side to Shane Kane. Edwards County using that. Zoned defense. Kane loops it over to Belcher in the right corner. Now down low, and a ball slapped loose, and it's retrieved by Jared Kane. He drives in the paint, puts it up, and scores, and he's fouled. Ooh, that hurts. Basket will count, and it's going to is on Roy. I believe, they, I believe they charged that to Roy Johnson. If they did, that's his second. Jared Kane at the free throw line to shoot one, and he got it. So it's 41 to 33, or 42 to 33, back to a nine-point difference now. Bobby Brake and Troy are getting ready to check back in. Mawson, and there's another bad pass stolen away. Jared Kane driving down, puts it on the glass and scores. Well, just as I thought we were going to make a comeback, now they're coming after us again. Back to an 11-point difference, 44-33. This is Schnicker, over to Wallace. Now to the right side, off to Ma or Johnson. Cross court pass over to Schnicker. Cade with a couple of dribbles, gives it over to Wallace. Justin now feeds it off to Mawson in the corner. He pops up a three ball and scores. Big three point basket there by Eli Mawson. 44-36, eight point difference. Jared Kane dribbling, cut off. Now gets it out of there. Pass over here to Dylan back. He fires a three ball and he hit it. My goodness. 47 to 36. 11 point difference. Schmittler to Wallace. He fires a three ball. That's off the rim. No good. Rebound cleared out of there by Belcher for Potoka. Up to Shane Kane. 47 seconds and counting left in the third period. Jared Kane guarded by Mawson now. Goes in the corner to Shane Kane. And a bad pass stolen away by Mawson. Eli down the middle, feeds it off to Wallace. He drives in, puts it up, no good. Rebound to Schmittler who puts it back up and in. Good basket there by Nathaniel Schmittler, 47 to 38. Nine point difference, coming up on 20 seconds and counting. Tiger Cloudfelder and Bobby Brake getting ready to check in. It looks like Potoka will go for the last shot. Jared Kane holding it. He's double team now, and stolen away by Mawson, but he falls down. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Schnicker. Feeds it over to Schmittler, now to Mawson. Underneath to Wallace. One, shoot it. Schnicker for three, in and out. Ooh, that would have that would have been a big one. That's the end of the third period. The score is Potoka 47, Edwards County 38. Troy? Larry Schmittler service, oil field engine repair in Grayville. 
Larry and Linda Schmittler, grandparents of volleyball player Malia Schmittler, football and basketball player Martin Schmittler, and baseball basketball player Nathaniel Schmittler. Edwards County Sports Booster Club. Be sure to join this club to support athletics at Edwards County High School. Stu, Shadina, Zoe, Zimmy, and Zed Markman. Mike and Melanie Troyer, parents of Maverick Troyer. See Troyer Heating and Air Conditioning for your heating and air conditioning needs. Your local Coleman dealer. George and Nancy Gerlach, Coach Gerlach's parents. Dana and Carrie Mawson, parents of Eli Mawson. John and Pat Anderson watching in Florida and cheering for Bobby Brake and the rest of the Lions. Eric Rigg and his staff at Rigg Family Care Pharmacy in Albion. Kenny and Betty Smith. Myrna Mason. Eddie and Lila Fuchs. Scott and Sheila Wallace, parents of Justin Wallace. Sheila is the vice president at the Fairfield Banking Company in Fairfield. The Murbarger family, Lonnie, Valerie, Sadie, and Hallie, and George and Shirley Tribe. All right, as we start the fourth quarter on the floor, we've got Claude Felder, Brake, Troyer, Johnson, and Wallace. And uh, Patoka has the ball. Shane Kane right side out to Jared Kane. Kane to the left side, off to back. Looping pass over to the corner in the right side, off to Belcher. They loop the ball back over to back. Back in the backcourt, loops it back to the corner to Belcher. Belcher loops it back over to back. Back, sends it over to Jared Kane in the high post. It goes off there to Belcher. Belcher back outside to back. Three-pointer, that's off the rim, no good. And the ball is retrieved by Jared back and a foul by Roy Johnson as he tries to make a steal. And I think that'll be the third on Roy. We can't see the foul board here to indicate that indicates how many fouls it is on a player. Pass comes in. Off there to Jordan Cobb, who's in the lineup now for Patoka. And it Kane down the lane. He goes, and he's fouled as he puts up the shot. Is that going to be on Troyer? Let's see. Three. It, yep, is. it is on Maverick, and that's his fourth. According to my book, that's four on Maverick. At the free throw line, Nathaniel's getting ready to check back in for Edwards County. And Kane makes it. So that makes it 48 to 38. And Kane will shoot one more. 10 point lead, make it 11. The Lions will bring the ball up. Claude Feller to break. Bobby across the timeline. Dribbles to the top of the key, feeds it off to Claude Felder. Tiger back to break. Bobby with a couple of dribbles over to Claude Felder. They're trying to get the ball to Wallace in the high post. Now to Schmittler and uh, Johnson. He pops one up to the free throw line and scores. Roy Johnson gets his first basket of the night. And again, a timeout called here by Edwards County this time. It's now uh, Patoka 49, Edwards County 40. Troy? Kitten Sue Nail of Neal's Funeral Home in Albion and Fairfield. Gospel Chapel, a non-denominational church in Bone Gap. Services begin every Sunday morning at 10. Janice Shaw of Janice's Beauty Shop in Albion. She offers a complete line of beauty shop services for women, and she also cuts hair for men. Call Janice for an appointment at 445-2436. Well, the question now, Troy, is can we overcome that 19-point deficit we had at halftime? We've cut it down to nine. It's 49 to 40 with 646 left to go in the ball game. Edwards County will put on a press. Back into Kane, back to back. Now he gets it over to Kane, to back. And now they break the press as it goes to Belcher. To back in the backcourt, to Kane on the right side. Shane Kane guarded by Claude Felder. Out to Jared Kane guarded by Bobby Brake. In the high post it goes to Cobb, back out to Kane. In the corner, it goes off to Belcher. Back out to Jared Kane. And a pass looped over to Dylan Back. Back left of the key, now guarded by Brake. And a pass goes to Shane Kane. Made a switch, actually with the zone. We're not playing man-to-man. Now the ball looped, and that's going to go out of bounds. That causes Patoka to commit another turnover there as Jared Kane tried to pass to the baseline and threw it into the Edwards County cheerleaders. Now checking back in is Bailey O'Brien replacing Jordan Cobb. 6.18 to go, 49-40, Lions down by nine. Bobby with the basketball in the backcourt, dribbles to the free throw line, back out to Claude Felder. Claude Felder sends it left side to Wallace. He pops up a three ball, and he got it! 
big three-pointer by Justin Wallace, his first points of the night. 49-43, a six-point difference. Can the Lions come back? That's the question and win it. Lions still in a zone defense. Jordan Kane. And another bad pass. Goes into the stands by Patoka and another turnover by the Warriors. This zone defense has made a big difference. Oh, it has, game. Troy. It's It really has. Wallace will trigger it in at side court. 49-43 with 5.49 to go. Shane Kane goes to the bench now for Patoka. Break to Wallace. Back to break. Now to Claudefelder. Tiger in the corner to Wallace. Down on the pass in for Schmittler. Is loose on the floor. And taken by Schmittler. Pops it up and in. Big basket by Nathaniel Schmittler. 49-45, a four-point difference. Jordan Kane down the lane, puts it up, no good. It's tipped around, tipped around, and rebound comes off to Wallace for Edwards County. Now to Bobby Brake. Bobby picks it up, sends it up to Wallace. George, uh, Justin down the lane, in the corner to Johnson. Roy cross court to Claude Felder. Back out to Brake. Bobby giving directions now. He's at the floor general. Mawson getting ready to check back in. Claude Felder. And a pass knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Patoka. Okay, we'll get the ball out of bounds. Mawson will trigger it in as Claude Felder goes to the bench. Eli in. Eli gets it in to break. 4.57 to go. Edwards County down by only four now. Mawson on the right side to break. Bobby in the high post to Johnson. A bad pass, but Lions get it back. Break over to Mawson. Back to break. Bobby over to the left side to Wallace. Three ball. Got it. Justin Wallace knocks down another three. 49-48. Lions down by only a point with 4.30 to go in the ball game. Jared Kane with a basketball. Guarded by Mawson. And he goes down the lane. Puts it on the glass. And no good. Rebound to Schmittler. Over to break. Bobby comes down the right side and lost the ball. Taken away by Kane. And a pass to the baseline. Back outside of three balls. Good. Oh, that hurts. A three ball by Dylan Back, his second of the night. 52 48. Break with a basketball in the low post. Schmittler turnaround shot. Rimmed out. No good. Rebound comes off to Belcher. 3.50 to go now in the game. Patoka 52, Edwards County 48. Pass looped over to Jared Kane. Now to Belcher. In the corner to Kane. Out there to back. Dylan back holding the ball in the backcourt. Sends it over to Jared Kane. Now to the baseline, driving in. A shot is up, no good. They tip it around, they tip it around, and it's tipped up and in. I don't know who to give that uh, to. I'd give it to Belcher, Dave. Belcher, okay. 54 to 48, back to a six point lead for Patoka. Wallace to break. Bobby to Mawson, or Johnson. Now a shot by Schmittler's off the rim, no good. Rebound comes off to Patoka, that hurts. And now Bobby tries for a steal, but Kane gets away from it. Jared Kane goes down the lane, there he goes. He missed the shot, but he's fouled. That gonna be on Johnson, let's see who gets it. Kane's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. And let's see. Yep. Yep, it's on Roy, and that's four on him. 2.56 left to go in the ball game. Timeout called by Patoka. It's Patoka 54, Edwards County 48, which is disappointing because now it's a six-point difference, and we got it down to one, Troy. Yeah. Radio station WBYN. 90.9 in Wayne City, The Vine, featuring the best Christian music in Southern Illinois. A listener-supported Christian radio station. Seely Max and Clive Gerlach. Gene Kolak, owner of the Man Cave Gallery in Fairfield. Western memorabilia, motivational posters, pictures, and Native American art. Gene carries many custom, handmade, and factory knives. Jared Kane at the free throw line so far tonight is five out of seven at the charity stripe. He'll have two more coming. He's got a chance to... Uh, Put this up to an eight-point lead if he can hit these two free throws. Let's hope he doesn't. And free throw in the air. Yeah, he missed it. Well, he'll shoot one more. 
So now the worst it could be is a seven point difference. 2.56 on the clock, that's all that's left. And he missed that one. And a rebound comes off to break for Edwards County. Bobby brings the ball up. Bobby top of the key. Be careful with that ball. It goes to Mawson inside. Schmettler in the paint, puts it up. And they won't count the basket, but they do charge a foul. That is on Belcher. Belcher, it was only his second. So that wipes off a basket we had there, Troy. The well, Lions will get it out of bounds. Mawson gets it into Wallace. Now out to break. Bobby dribbling to the backcourt. Mawson back to break. Now to Wallace. He's open for the three ball and rims out. Rebound comes off to Patoka. Now the ball loose on the floor and stayed by the Lions. Break to Schmittler. Nathaniel feeds it off to Wallace underneath. He lays it on the glass and scores. Justin Wallace has eight points here in the fourth quarter. 54-50. Lions down by four with 2.18 to go and counting. Patoka now in no hurry. They want to eat clock. And now the ball stolen by Mawson. Eli goes in, lays it up and in. 54-52 with two minutes to go. Patoka by only two points, and they want to kill clock. Lions in the 2-1-2 zone, or 2-3 zone, whatever you want to call it. Dillon back in the backcourt. Less than two minutes to go. In the corner it goes to Belcher. Down low to Kane. Outside to Shane Kane. Bobby trying to steal it away from him. Looping pass over here to Dillon back. Don't let that boy shoot the three ball. It goes in the high post. Now in the corner, Jared Kane works the baseline. Feeds it off underneath for an easy lay in there. By number 12, Garrett Belcher. 56-52, a four point difference. Break out to Troyer. Troyer feeds it off to break. Bobby looking, gets it off to Mawson, to Wallace, but he's covered up. It goes into Schmittler on the glass, lays it up and in. Nathaniel Schmittler scores. 56-54 with 106 and counting. Jared Kane walks the ball up. And a ball kicked out of bounds by Brake. And now let's see, Coach Gerlach's going to send Tiger Clodfelder into the lineup to give a little more speed and quickness in there. Eli Mawson goes to the bench. So we've got Clodfelder, Brake, Wallace, Schmittler, and Troyer on the floor with 101 left, a minute and one second. Pass comes in. We need a steal here. It goes in the corner, off there to Belcher. Back outside to Jared Kane. Jared in the backcourt, dribbles, feeds it over to back. Back to Jared Kane, 49 seconds, and the Lions fouled the wrong guy. Well, maybe not. He missed a couple while ago. Mawson's going to check back in now. And Claude Felder goes back to the bench. 48.5 seconds left. Edwards County down by two, 56-54. And uh, Patoka will have the ball out of bounds. Pass comes in from back to Belcher. To back. Back to Belcher. They're killing clock. Shane Kane, they're just going to play pitch and keep away. Lions need a steal, and now Bobby fouls him to stop the clock with 37.2 seconds. And let's see. Are we shooting free throws or are we still out of bounds? It we looks like we are free shooting free throws. free throws. It'll be number 12. Garrett Belcher shooting. He is one out of, or two out of three at the free throw line tonight. Or miss these free throws. It's up. Nope, he got it. He'll shoot another one. 57-54 with 37.2 seconds to go. Well, let's hope he misses this one, Troy, and then we can tie it with a three ball. Free throw is up and good. Fooey. Four point difference. Press is on. Pass comes into Mawson. Eli coming down the left side of the court. And the corner, Schmittler drives in, puts it on the glass. No good, but he's fouled. So he'll go to the free throw line for two. Let's see who the foul was on. He's on number 12, Garrett Belcher. That's his third. So Nathaniel Schmittler at the free throw line is one out of two tonight. He'll be shooting two this time. We need him. Puts it up, and he got it. So it's 58-55. He could cut the deficit to two points with 29.6 seconds to go. Cage Snicker getting ready to check back in for Edwards County. Free throw, no good. Missed the free throw. Rebound to Patoka. Quick pass up to Shane Kane with a layup, and that, that's it. 
That's it. Boy, that hurt. We let him get behind us 60 to 55. And now another steal. Or Bobby's trying to, no, check that. That's, uh, yeah, it is Bobby trying to get it back. Now he's going to foul Jared Kane. Phooey, Troy. Well, it came so close. 10.7 seconds to go. We're down by five. And Jared Kane is going to be at the free throw line. Well, he missed two while ago, but I don't know. Well, we're going to get a timeout call with 10.7 seconds left to go. Patoka 60, Edwards County 55. Troy? Do you need your carpets clean? Call Dan Aaron of Dan's Carpet Cleaning, 618-302-0972. Dan, Shirley, Michael, and Travis are cheering on the Lions. Cheryl Taylor of TJ Marsh, supporting the Edwards County Lions for over 30 years. Rick Kelly Allison and Drew Wolf. Dwayne and Leanne Lear of Leary Electric and Albin. For electrical service you can depend on, call Dwayne Lear at 446-3166. Steve Thompson, your country financial agent at 107 East North Street in West Salem. A financial representative providing insurance, auto home and more, and financial services. Well, I tell you what though, Troy, what's encouraging is the way we came back. I oh, mean, yeah. we were getting blown out in the first half, and it looked bad. Yes. I mean, bad. Right. But you've got to give the Lions credit and Coach Gerlach credit for getting things turned around big time here in the second half. Well, Jared Kane, their big scorer, will have two free throws, and he missed it. No, he had one for the bonus. Rebound to Edwards County. Up ahead, another Wallace. And to Mawson. Wallace puts it up on the glass and scores. And a quick timeout called by Edwards County. Well, 0.4 seconds. It's now 60 to, should be 57. There it is. We're down by three, but only four tenths of a second left. I guess a three ball is possible here, but they'll have the ball out of bounds, won't they? Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> it's going to take a miracle here. A bad pass and a quick steal and a quick three ball. But you made a good point, Dave. Uh, after putting that zone defense into effect in the second half, this game could have gotten way out of hand. But yeah. uh, you got to give the Edwards County Lions credit. They fought back and made this into a contest. So, uh, And against a very tough basketball team here too, Dave, in Patoka. So you have to admire the effort that the Lions put out in the second half of this game. Well, here's the thing too, Troy. You know, point differential in these games is a deciding factor as to whether we play Saturday night or not. Yeah. So if we w had continued as we were in the first half right. and got blown out, right. and Weber does a better job against their opponents Thursday night and Friday night, it could have turned out real bad for Edwards County as far as playing. All right, there's right. the inbounds pass to Kane, and that's it. Final score is Potoka 60 and Edwards County 57. We'll have the scoring totals after Troy checks more of our webcast boosters. If I can remember where I left off at. I don't remember. Uh, I didn't think you could. Okay, here we are. Sam and Sheila Smith, Eddie and Joyce Miller, the watering can at 107 West Main Street. Stop in and see the flyers and gift items that Nathan has available for Christmas. Call 445-3924. Shad, Marilyn Lindsay, and Seth McKenzie, David and Lisa Mathis, Bob and Mona Nice, Emma Campbell Smith, Burton and Donna Hawking, Jason Holfaker, Mike and Kristen Spear of Spear Construction Company, Brian and Sonia Schenkel, Kevin, Heidi, and TJ Smurden, Kevin and Kendra Schnicker and Linda Kelsey, Doug Raber, your State Farm Insurance Agent in Albin. Jeff Gillard of Gillard True Value Hardware Stores in Albion, Grayville, and Carmine. David and Kim Cullison, Kelly Bosecker Fryman, Gene and Jackie Copeland, Edwards County State's Attorney Mike Valentine, Edwards County Girls Volleyball Coach Nixie Nikowski and her family Steve, Katie, and Rachel, Edwards County Superintendent of Schools David Cowger and his family David, Tiffany, Dallin, Camden, and Addison, the House of Prayer on North 5th Street in Albion, Mac Dalton is the pastor, Tony and Gina Whistle, Dr. Chris Ballard and Jerry, Citizens National Bank in Albion, and Randy Hallam of Mitchell Insurance Agency in Albion. Okay, Troy, well, here are the uh, unhappy totals. First of all, for the Potoka Warriors, their leading scorer, as expected, was Jared Kane with 23 points. But, Troy, here's the thing. 
with that zone defense, he scored only seven points. Uh, two, four, six, yeah, seven points. He scored only seven points in the second half. So that, that zone right. shut him down. Yeah. Unfortunately, we had uh, we had uh, dug ourselves into such a big hole in the right. first half that it was hard to come back and win it. Yeah. But 23 from Jared Kane, 15 from Garrett Belcher, and 10 points from Shane Kane, six points apiece for Jordan Cobb and Dylan Back. That Dylan Back hit two big three baskets in the second half, yeah. which made a big difference. Yeah. Over on the Edwards County side, our leading scorer again tonight was Nathaniel Schmittler, and he got 12 of those points in the second half. Next in line was Eli Mawson with 11 points. Justin Wallace came off the bench and scored 10 points, all 10 points coming in the fourth quarter, and two threes uh, really made a big difference. So 10 points from Justin Wallace, six points from Maverick Troyer tonight, five from Cade Schnicker, and three from Bobby Brake. Lions scored only 11 points in the first quarter. They were down by 10 points at the end of the first quarter, 21 to 11. They scored only eight points in the second quarter and trailed at halftime, 38 to 19, down by 19 points at halftime. And boy, it looked bad. It did. But Coach Gerlach made some big adjustments yep. in the locker room. And uh, the Lions scored a total of 19 points in the third quarter, while uh, Patoka scored only nine points. So that made a big difference. We were down 47 to 38 at the end of the third quarter. The Lions then scored uh, another 19 points in the fourth quarter, and uh, Patoka scored only 13. But the Lions just didn't have enough time left, Roy. Nope. After trailing by 19 points, they did cut the deficit down to one point at one time during the fourth and final quarter. But then Patoka had some big three balls that they hit, and the Lions fall by a score of 60 to 57. So again, the point differential is very important because now the Lions in this tournament, their record goes to one and two. Patoka goes to two and zero. Oh. Sisney is 2-0, and oh. so, you know, unless Patoka loses to Weber Friday night, uh, you know, they're going to be 3-0, and oh. and I don't see them playing tomorrow night. They're not playing tomorrow night, and they don't play Thursday night, so they don't play again until Friday night. Uh, that's what we got to hope for is we got to hope that Weber beats Patoka. But here's the thing. Weber, then, is the threat that could keep us from playing Saturday night for fifth place because they are one and one, and we are one and two. Now, Weber plays again Thursday night. They don't play tomorrow night. They play Thursday night against Sisney. So if Sisney beats Weber, which I think is possible, oh, yes. then Weber goes to one and two. And then Friday night, Weber plays Patoka, and Edwards County plays Clay City. Now, we ought to beat Clay City, yes, which would make us, what, two and, uh, two, and two. two and two. And if then Patoka can beat Weber, then they would go to uh, two and two, right. and the, the point differential comes in there. So it's a good thing we didn't lose to that big 19-point deficit right. that we had at halftime. Right. So again, folks, final score was... Patoka 60, Edwards County 57, but folks, I feel better. I mean, I felt bad the way things looked at the first half. But Coach Gerlach made some big adjustments, and the Lions played much better defense and much better offense in the second half and came away and cut that deficit down to at one point, just one point, and then lose by only three by a score of 60 to 57. Well, the Lions have both Tomorrow night and Thursday night off, they won't play here again until Friday night when they tangle with Clay City. And if you can't make the trip over here to back the Lions in person, well, you know, you can watch it live here on Edwards County Sportsnet. Our webcast will begin at about 5.15. Any, any final comments, Troy, before we close things down? Well, Dave, we often sing his praises, but this is one of the reasons why is that... Uh, 
Coach Gerlach. They're just like, as you said, Dave, there wasn't enough time, but this game could have been a big blowout, and then it would have been all but certain we wouldn't have been coming here Saturday night. No. But with that zone defense and playing their guts out, they were able to narrow this to three, and there's still a shot we could be here on Saturday night. That's right. Okay, so until we greet you again Friday night from here, the Wigwam in Wayne City when Edwards County tangles with Clay City. On behalf of our webcast boosters and my partner Troy, this is Dave Riggs saying so long for just a little while.